Well, we got something pretty special in the shop today. Um, Sean's 240Z with a L28 um, and a pretty basic T3, T4 turbo setup. It's on MS2 Mega Squirt. Um, we are having a couple of problems with it with some grounding issues. It's shutting off around 3,000 RPMs according to the customer, so we're going to change a couple of grounds around and freshen up the tune a little bit, see what we can make with this new manifold setup. Um, went to a, I think a Godzilla Raceworks, I want to say, manifold, um, and then switched to three inch exhaust. And we're hoping we're going to get a little bit better spool out of it and maybe make a little bit more power. Still don't have a boost controller hooked up on it, so we're just going to run wastegate. It's about nine to 10 pounds according to yesterday's street bulls. So uh, we're going to see what it does on the dyno and freshen up the tune a little bit and uh, have a little bit of footage of this car for you just to kind of showcase some of the cars that we're working on. People just show up here just revving their engines and Jeeps. Look, look at this guy. <laughs> That's a Jeep. Look at this guy. Jeez. It's like he drives a 240Z or something. Strange. So we got a new idle control valve replaced for Sean's 240Z. Hoping that it responds better than the old one. The old one was giving us some problems. So we pulled one off of my LS throttle body and stuck it in his aftermarket setup. And we're going to see what happens next. So tell me, what's the, what's the setup on the car? Uh, it's a stock block. Stock head, L2818 out of a 280ZX turbo. Um, has a Pro Tuner's intake manifold. Uh, it was the same uh, on the exhaust manifold. Has a cheap eBay turbo. How much was that turbo again? Probably like a hundred thirty bucks. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's called the Turbone. Tur turbone Turbo. All right. And we've got what? We've got twin wastegates on here, is that right? We've got an internal uh, wastegate and an internal external wastegate. Waste internal wastegate doesn't work. No? It has a, a, a tile external wastegate. Oh, okay, okay. An actual tile external wastegate. I see. We got a, what's the fuel setup on it? Uh, 550cc injectors. Uh, I'm not too sure about the pump. Um, all aim fittings, all aim lines. Intercooler setup is interesting. It's uh, from Godzilla Raceworks. It's a CX Racing intercooler. Um, I had to do some extra piping and so had to cut some more stuff. Yeah. It was all the way around. I guess because the intake and the exhaust is on the same side, which Single is plane. just doesn't seem ideal. Well, looks like we have a good working IEC now. Hans has been beep booping on the laptop to get this thing to start up and idle high enough to sustain a good idle before it was idling around 450 to 500 rpms and now with a good idle control valve it looks like it's getting up to where it needs to be around 900 to 1000 rpms we're gonna see shop definitely fixed the startup issue he had a bad idle control valve we put it on open loop instead of the closed loop and it's it's working really well so we're about to do some warm-up enrichment make sure he's good to go on that and then we'll probably stick it back on the dyno to final tune his new exhaust manifold and exhaust and we'll see uh how much power it makes with the new exhaust set up on about eight nine pounds
gonna be able to do for warm up enrichment is gonna be the um, like when it's really cold because it's what like yeah. 65, 70 degrees right now. So all we can really do is just throw in some values for whenever it's colder yeah. and, and see how it does. Yeah, it should be one table to change. It's really simple. All right, so now warm ups engaged and after starts off. Oh man, can't get any better than that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's completely acceptable for warming up, and it'll get up to 14.5 by the time it gets fully warm. We're gonna see how much power it made. How much? <laughs> so it made 204 horsepower on eight to nine pounds of boost with this new exhaust manifold set up um, and exhaust versus last time it made 192 horsepower um, on like 13 pounds of boost, somewhere around there. So we're talking like five less pounds of boost and you know, 10 more horsepower um, and if we overlay it from last time let's see this was actually the better one right here I think let's do that one we got a little bit of a torque spike because of the manual boost controller but I mean overall power just completely dropped off and now power is a lot more steady um, we tried raising the RPM up to 6,500 because it, we felt like it was making more power and it actually made a lot less. Um, this NA cam he's got in here just doesn't flow. So we're going back down to 5,800 RPM red line and leaving it where it's at until he gets a boost controller. <laughs> 